So I'm Robert McLaren, Professor of Ophthalmology, University of Oxford. Well, we've been collaborating for a while. Um, we're really interested in developing a robotic system for doing gene therapy, and that's really how we got started. Uh, well, myself and three members of my team, um, on more than one occasion, we've been over to Eindhoven um, to work with uh, the technicians and engineers on um, you know, how to learn, learning how to use the system, uh, and also thinking about the concept and design that we use for the gene therapy. Uh, subsequently, the, the robot that we're using was made, and that's now been transported here to Oxford. And we and the Eindhoven team from Freeside have been doing final checks, uh, final training with the staff here before finally doing the, uh, the first operation today. Well, you'd be surprised, but actually a lot of our patients are very keen to be involved in innovative research like this. Our first patient actually uh, comes from a family um, interested in ophthalmology. His father's an ophthalmologist, and he's really quite keen to just be part of the technology. Well, we're going to refine the ILM peeling, and then the next stage, I think, will be to go on to do subretinal injections, and that's currently part of our clinical trial. We're looking at ILM peeling, but the next phase we're going up to is doing subretinal injections. Uh, very well. I mean, I won't say better than the human hand, but, but it was as good as and, and what we wanted the robot system to do. Um, it certainly delivered a very good result. Well, that's a very good question. I mean, clearly there's great potential for the technology. Our real interest is for using it for gene therapy, stem cells, that sort of work. But of course, it's potentially other operations that might also be developed that we don't yet know about that can be used, you know, delivered with the robotic system. Well, as always with any trial, safety is our primary concern. So we have used the robot for a part of the operation that we can do ourselves anyway. So if there had been a problem, we would have just simply completed the operation in the standard way. I'm very pleased to say we didn't have to do that and the robot did as, as, as was expected. Well, again, that's a good question. I think we be, need to become a bit more familiar with the technology um, and, and just generally get more used to it. And hopefully, having now started the clinical trial here, there will be you know, further developments in, in robotic surgery in the eye elsewhere. Um, well, I think, like all companies um, that have been working on one thing for many years, the, the goal, particularly with biotech companies, is to get towards patients. And I, and I think today we've, uh, you know, we, we've, we've crossed a, a big hurdle actually in, in going first in first in that. And I'm not saying there's more work to be done. Of course there is. We're certainly very keen to develop the gene therapy side of the device, um, and of course that's all going to happen in the future. We're entering an era where we're doing more complicated procedures. We're pretty much at the limit of what we can do with the hand. The big area we need to go into now is surgery underneath the retina. And really we need something like a robotic system to help us with that. <laughs>